Hello dear students, we are discussing diffusion processes in plasma. So far we have considered two species which are a major species J and minor species N. The major species is uniform at equilibrium and minor species has a concentration gradient along x and when this minor species goes through major species it will encounter a lot of collisions and because of these collisions there will be a force and there will be additional force due to the concentration gradient. These two forces should be uh, equal so that we have uh, the drift velocity constant, right. So, now in the last lecture we have seen that we can write a relation between the pressure gradient and collisional force. So, dp by dx is min is nm w nu, right. So, p the pressure partial pressure of the minor species can be written as p is equals to n k t, okay. Using this we can write minus k t d n by d x is equals to n m w nu or minus k t by m nu is times d n by d x is equals to n w. So, this k t by m nu, the factor k t by m nu is written as capital D d n by d x is n w, okay. So, where d is called as the diffusion coefficient, d is the diffusion coefficients. So, so far, so this, this seems to be valid, right. So, let us say we write it as here, d times d n by d x is equals to n w. This is a valid relation. As long as we do not have any gravity field and the concentration gradient is only along the x direction, right. So, let us say we include the gravity field in the y direction or in the vertical direction. Now, we are looking in the vertical direction and we will also include the gravitational force which acts like an additional force in addition to the collisional and the pressure gradient force we still have the concentration gradient along x. So, if there are uh, n number of particles per unit volume and m represents the average mass of each of these particles and g is the gravitational force, then we can assume the force n m g to be acting on the particles per unit volume. So, the modified equation will look like minus d p by d h minus n m g is equals to n m nu w. So, using p is equals to n k t just like we did last time we can write minus k t by m nu d n by d h minus n m g by m nu is equals to n w or minus k t by m nu times d n by d h plus n m g by k t is equals to n w. We have shifted from x direction to y to the vertical direction you call it as uh, h. So, representing this factor as d the diffusion coefficient minus d times d n by d h plus n m g by k t will become equal to n w. k t by m g is the scale height we can write it as d times d n by d h plus n by h is equals to n w. This is how the force balance works like. What is h? h is nothing but k t by 
mg which is the scale height this scale height is different at different temperatures and also different for different species depending on the mass but the scale height is not the distribution height that you should remember now at this point it is very important to know how the concentration of minor gas changes as a function of time due to diffusion see so far the minor gas species concentration if you don't include collisions all this how does it change since there is a gravity field you can write n to be the minor gas concentration per unit volume with reference to your uh, standard value it is something like this simple but what have we done in addition to this how far have we come from this simple relation this simple relation is of course valid but when the particles are moving they will encounter an additional force because of the collisions right so this diffusion process of minor gas through the major gas gives out an additional force which is the collisional force when you bring that into the picture this is how the modified equation looks like now is there any chance that we can invert this relation and get a modified expression for the number of particles per unit volume including the d that's what we are actually trying to do right so what we are doing is we are trying to know how the concentration of minor gas changes as a function of time or distance due to diffusion now when you want to find out how the minor gas species concentration changes with respect to time so far we've been doing dn by dh but we want to convert that into time change with respect to time the rate of change of minor gas species then it is nothing but how is the rate rate can be uh, understood as how many number of particles are entering into a volume and how many particles are leaving the volume so it is basically the idea of continuity equation if you bring that you can write dn by dt is equal to minus d by dh of nw it is same as that so d by dh of nw from the earlier relation we know that d by dh of d times dn by dh plus n by h nw if you go here you see nw this is i have just taken d by dh of nw d by dh of nw will give you this right now that minus gets cancelled so now dn by dt can be written as d by dh of d times dn by dh plus n by capital h now the d d is the diffusion coefficient is kt by m nu which implies d is proportional to 1 by nu at a constant temperature so collisional frequency is obviously it will depend on the number of particles right so it will be n j the number of major species with which the particles are colliding so if you put a reference so d e you have to write d1 by d2 is equals to n j2 by n j1 right so this relation can be written like this so if you assume your reference to be d0 so d by d0 can be written as n j0 divided by n j so with respect to your reference or diffusion coefficient d can be written as d0 times n j 0 by n j so when the major species n j j species is in equilibrium with respect to time we can write including the gravity field we can write n j 0 times exponential minus h by h d using this into this relation we can write d as d 0 n j 0 divided by n j 0 times exponential minus h by 
HD. So D is equals to D naught exponential small h by h d. So, the diffusion coefficient as a function of distance seems to be increasing exponentially with respect to height. We have this picture in which gravity is acting vertically downwards. The height is taken in this way. If the major species is distributed as per this scale height, the diffusion constant which is k t by m nu seems to be increasing with height. This is an interesting finding, right? This is exactly opposite to what we have seen with respect to the number densities. Diffusion coefficient increasing with height or with distance. So, bringing back that here, so we can write dn by dt is d by dh of d times dn by dh plus n by hn. One thing, so earlier we had d as constant, but d is not a constant now. So, we can write dn by dt as d d by dh times You see what I have done? What I have done is just took the derivative inside and d is also changing with respect to height, exponentially positive variation. So, we have used the chain rule to apply the derivative on d once and apply the derivative on everything that is there inside this bracket. So, we can rearrange the terms such that d n by d t is equals to d is d naught exponential h by h d, h d is the scale height for the diffusion coefficient. So, d d by d h is d naught exponential h by h d times 1 by h d. So, all of this is nothing but d itself, d d by d h is d by h d. We can use it here d by h d times d n by d h plus n by h n plus d times the rate at which the concentration of minor species changes with respect to time due to collisions and diffusion d n by d t. Rearranging all these terms, we can write d times d square n by d h square plus 1 by h d plus 1 by h n times d n by d h plus n by h d h n. You see this is a very important relation. It has the scale heights of small n as well as capital D, where D is k t by m nu and varies as d naught exponential h by h d and the concentration of minor species with respect to distance n naught exponential minus h by h n. Okay. So, this is with respect to space, this is with respect to time. So, we have uh, this relation, let us take this relation. 
once again dn by dt the rate at which concentration of minor species changes with respect to time seems to be dependent on how it changes with respect to space and how the diffusion coefficient changes with respect to space is d times d square n by d h square plus 1 by h n plus 1 by h d times d n by d h plus n by h n h d. So, if you see this I have probably skipped one or two steps of algebra between these two relations. You can work it out you will eventually get the same form that I have written here. So, what it implies is that when the major gas is distributed as per the gravitational field it decays exponentially you will find that the diffusion coefficient is increasing with respect to the it is exactly opposite ok. So, in this picture we can realize that the diffusion increases exponentially with respect to height. So, till this point we do not know uh, what will be the distribution of n with respect to height. So, what we have uh, understood so far is uh, collisions will happen more the rate the number of collisions will be more which will be a function of uh, the number of major species. Major species densities are exponentially decreasing with respect to increasing height and due to this the number density decreases exponentially with increasing height. So, as a result of all this it is a natural consequence that the diffusion coefficient will increase with respect to height. So, from this uh, discussion that we had we can realize one simple thing that we can only obtain one distribution either with, re with respect to time or with respect to space at a given instance. So, let us see the concentration of minor species how it will change with respect to time. So, let us say we assume uh, at a particular height. So, at a particular height. So, we cannot take both the things together change things changing with respect to time and with respect to height it is not possible. So, what you can do is you can fix at a particular height and here you can vary the time and find out how it will change d n by d t. So, let us say at a particular height the minor species are varying there only as n is equals to n naught exponential minus h by delta. So, which is d n by d h is equals to n naught exponential minus h by delta times 1 by minus 1 by delta. So, we can write d n by d h as minus n by delta or d square n by d h square as n by delta square. We will use this here. Okay. So, d n by d t is equals to the diffusion coefficient times n by delta square plus slightly rearranging the terms we can pull out n and write it as 1 by delta square minus 1 by delta times 1 by h d plus 1 by h n ok. So, this is d n by d t. So, d n by d t seems to be proportional to d or seems to be proportional to n when you assume everything else to be a constant right at a particular height of course. So, we can write d n by d t is some constant gamma times n with gamma is equals to d times 1 by delta minus 1 by 
एच टी टाइम्स वन बाय डेल्टा माइनस वन बाय एच एन इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन चेक आउट द एलजिब्रा सो एज लॉन्ग एज द माइनर स्पीसीज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन चेंजेस विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू हाइट विच इज फॉलोइंग विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हाइट ऑफ डेल्टा इट्स कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इंक्रीजेस एट ए रेट गामा विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम दिस इज द कंक्लूजन सो एज लॉन्ग एज एन इज चेंजिंग एट ए रेट ऑफ डेल्टा डी एन बाई डी टी विल स्टे पॉजिटिव एंड एट ए रेट गामा ओके नो दिस इज द कंक्लूजन ऑफ दिस डिस्कशन what we've been able to achieve is we've been able to get a relation of how the concentration of a minor species changes with respect to time when it is diffusing through a major species through another species for example what is the additional information that you have here when it is when you say that it is diffusing through the major species it is encountering collisions and the the rate at which collisions are happening is embedded into this coefficient which is the diffusion coefficient right so with these ideas we will try to understand what is called as the ampipolar diffusion in the next lecture